Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get rid of text that you don't want. Unwanted text just like this. What do I have here? I have a stock image and I've got some text on it that says dollar store. Why would it say dollar store? Because this looks like Jason Momoa, but the dollar store version. <laughs> all right, cool. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of all of this blue text, but I don't want to ruin the layer underneath it. I want it to look like it's still the same guy and it's not a cutout. And I can show you because I've done it. Here it is, the final product. And how did I do it? Well, let's go. I'm going to delete this top layer and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So here it is. There's the. It's a single layer. It's very important to note that this is not separate layers. This is just one layer. Okay, making sure you've got that selected. First thing you want to do is you want to go up to select and you want to select color range. I am going to select the blue color just like that. And you're going to see here that it has correctly identified only the text in this image. So when you have a solid color like this, it's very useful. You can you can detect just the images. If you're using text that has a stroke or text that has like a um, gradient in it, it's a lot trickier and I can show you how to do that, but that'll be a separate video. So here we go. Left click on it and notice that I do not have localized colors collect, uh, selected and uh, I've got the fuzziness set to 200, just maximum. So it selects all of it. Left click on that and you're gonna see here that it's made a selection. And if we zoom in real close, it's very, very tight selection. This is actually not what we want. We want to go ahead and actually grow this or modify it. So what you want to do now is you want to head up to your top here and you'll see here, you'll see modify. We're going to go to select, modify, expand. And not only are we going to expand it, we're going to expand it by, let's go with six, let's go with seven pixels. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in again. And what you're going to see here is that we've selected all of the text. We've also selected outside the boundaries a little bit. In fact, seven pixels worth. Um, you guys can season that to your taste. But we're doing that because if you don't do that, it it when you do a the next step, some of the blue continues to leak in. Okay, good. So we've gone ahead. We've selected it. We've expanded it. Now we're going to go ahead and do the actual chop chop. So what you want to do now is you want to go to edit, you want to go to fill, but you want to go to content aware fill. This is the important part here. Left click on content aware fill. And now watch what happens. It's gone. There you go. If we zoom in, there is literally no text there. There's no uh, residue of the blue there. It's gone. You guys can go ahead and paint. So if there's parts that you don't want to be included or you want to be included in the final selection, you can go ahead up here and just select this little brush tool and select the samples that you want to use. But for this one, it's worked perfectly. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. And it's gone. Now I'm just going to go to select, deselect, and literally there is no text left. Now if you guys have extremely hawkish eyes, if you zoom way the heck in, you're going to see here that some of the content to where Phil has made a little bit of a mess of this part here. We would want to chop that out. And if you really want to go down the rabbit hole, you can go ahead and select the lasso tool and then just like come on in here, something like this, and then something like that. And then you want to do is you want to grab the crop, well, the patch tool, actually. It's called the patch tool. Left click on that, and then I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to move it to the left a little. And you're going to see here that, boom, it's gone. And if I hit select, deselect, we use the patch tool to make a few little changes there. Although it hasn't done a perfect job, this doesn't look quite right. So I would just go in here and do that. Again, grab the patch tool and move it to the left a little bit, something like that. And presto, we would make those changes as well. But that's not necessary. It's just to get rid of the text, but to show you that you can do an amazing job with just those tools, that's how you get rid of unwanted text, unwanted font in Photoshop 2022. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.